Hi guys, C Chronicles here. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're a first timer on this channel, we do a lot of fragrance reviews, but we do throw in some lifestyle content as well. Now, if that sounds like something that uh, ticks your boxes, please do consider subscribing and joining this family. I would appreciate you coming on board. If you're returning, thank you guys for always supporting me. You are appreciated. Kindly give me a follow on Instagram. I go by the name C Chronicles there. Now, welcome to another fragrance review video. I came across this fragrance and I purchased it out of curiosity um, this is from fragrance world fragrance world and it's called prickly rose I'm gonna tell you why I say I purchased this out of curiosity while I was fragrance shopping or while I was on holiday if you've been checking my Instagram you will know that I did do a little damage in terms of fragrance uh, purchasing I'm not bringing the haul here because I'm gonna do vlogmas so I'm going to be show you my showing you my experiences uh, during uh, vlogmas now I purchased the original fragrance which is of course Tom Ford's roll, uh, rose prick and then I just saw this this one while I was doing my shopping um, in uh, Dubai Perfume Cafe where I buy my Middle Eastern fragrances and I decided to purchase it just out of curiosity. Now this is how the bottle looks like. It is quite in your face. You can tell that this is a attempt of uh, uh, rose prick. I'm going to spray it here. That's the atomizer. So this is what we're here to, to talk about. I couldn't find the notes so I'm going to tell you what I, I get. A warm spicy rosy scent which is also woodsy in nature i think the roses that they have here they have captured them perfectly because you can tell that the rose is quite evident here the other thing that i get the most is that patchouli there is the patchouli so it's gonna be a fragrance that obviously you, you you'd have to love patchouli and rose to enjoy this it is also very powdery uh, from the opening. Uh, it also has like a slight greenness, a bit of some freshness, um, some herbalness to it. Uh, but I am going to point this out that I would say in its own right, it is okay. All right. I'm not going to say this is uh, giving me a representation of Tom Ford's uh, Rose Prick uh, because I have that fragrance within my collection. And I'll tell you where this one kind of misses the mark. Okay. So if you're curious about it, and you just wanted to know does this one uh kind of match up not quite you know um i think it this one goes a little too powdery uh they captured the rose perfectly but they missed it on the spice this one pepper you get from rose prick which is very addictive which is very alluring which is which is the one thing that draws you in i'll tell you my experience when i went into tom ford when I went into Tom Ford, I was looking at um, maybe a Bernafume. That was one that I had in mind that I might want to purchase. Um, and then I was just open to other suggestions because I thought, okay. And then this sales assistant, this essay, he says to me, first off, he says, no, go for Rose Creek. I'm like, no, I've been avoiding Rose Creek like a plague because... I like my rose done in a certain way. I don't like any rose because with rose, it can go whichever way. So I wasn't quite, you know, keen on that. And he said to me, no, just, he just said to me, spray it on the tester paper, just try it. And I'm thinking, okay, why is this dude insisting that I do, I purchase rose sprigs? So I did spray it. And then I said, hmm. I'm going to take a little walk around the store to see what other options, like what other things that I might want in the store and I'll come back. Guys, there is that Sichuan pepper in Rose Prick that will tell you to go back and buy it. And I don't get this, okay? That Sichuan pepper is crisp. It gave me like a berry spice, like a spicy aromatic berry kick with those roses. And it just drew me to just go back. And what I had done then, I said, no, okay, I'm going to take this piece of paper and I'm going to put it in the, you know, in my, in my wallet. And I could sm smell it after I zipped up my wallet. So it was quite an easy decision for me to make. Now, when it comes to this one, and this is what we're talking about, I'm going to do a comparison uh, of the two, if you want me to do a comparison of the two. Um, if you're going to purchase uh, Pricky Rose from uh, Fragrance World, 
in its own right like i did say it's a good fragrance i find it's easy reach i find they did the rose in such a way that um it is the sort of rose i can take it is not a, a, a you know like an aggressive in your face uh you know almost stuffy rose no um it has that powderiness there but it is just it just falls flat you know compared to the original that has that crispness that um addictive nature to it so if you want to purchase this that's fine you are probably maybe going to like it in its own right it's an easy rich scent it's one that you can spritz around the house but if you're going to purchase this and say i have smelled tom ford's rose prick because i bought a pricky rose from fragrance world maybe not you know that rose prick has got that classy element to it and again like i said it is that citron pepper that interprets in a very uh, artistic uh, you know, master perfumer. It is just a flawless scent. So yeah, a pretty rose in its own right is okay, but I'm not going to come here and tell you guys to say, oh, I found a dupe. You can go and buy this one. I am just saying to you, I am rating this in its own right. Uh, would I have bought Rose Prick if I had bought this one first? Maybe not because I would have thought, uh, okay, it's okay. But you know, because I did my, my, my purchase vice versa, I bought the original first and then bought this one. I can and almost hand on heart till you know this if you have it in your collection or if you're looking to purchase this in, a, in your collection you're going to enjoy this as a fragrance on its own you know or in its own capacity it's nice it's sweet it's a bit a bit much on the powdery side but it is wearable uh, but it does not match up to rose prick if i'm to give it a percentage because of the way they've done the rose uh they've done the rose decently here i'm just gonna give it maybe like a say 40 percent 30 40 percent but it doesn't compare to that it lacks that instancy kind of you know a striking addictive nature that you get from the original as well as the lasting power because this one um i find that you have to either over spray or if you are willing to reapply it after four hours then maybe it will do so that is what i had to say guys about uh fragrance worlds um what is it P pretty robes fragrance was uh pretty rose it comes not in the not in exactly the same packaging but the pa packaging is quite like in your face you can tell you know what they are duping all right so because it was like that and then it set it said the base set set in that I, it's just that i have you know i have moved it but this is how it's set okay it's set in that and then um it had that top you know there so you can tell that these guys are in your face saying this is what we are duping and they have a lot more because when i went to dubai perfume cafe i think they had um which one um, neroli portofino uh they don't call this as neroli portofino but they had that as well they had the lost cherry one uh they had the peach one um they had all of them but i just personally purchased this because i was so curious and i wanted to know so i do hope that this will help you in your uh you know next fragrant purchase if you want to uh purchase this i'm just regretting why i did not jump on the wagon because rose prick has been there since 2020 you know for some reason i was just scared that this is going to be a rose that is too much in my face and i won't be able to wear it but it is one of the fragrances that i really really enjoy and i am severing in my collection not this one the actual the original this i'm enjoying around the house beautiful fragrance budget version but it doesn't make the cut for me see chronicles is my name thank you so much guys for joining me today let's meet in the comment section to discuss more about fragrances do you own this what do you think of the fragrance world fragrances in general what do you think of those fragrances this is very affordable um i think mine was about maybe 30 dollars if i'm not mistaken i, I uh, it wasn't rand so i don't I, I i don't actually have a conversion but it should have been maybe 30 bucks or something like that very affordable let's meet in that comment section and let's talk more about fragrances um especially you know this and a lot more thank you so much for joining me today like this video if you like it and turn on post notifications that way you will be notified guys anytime i upload a video see chronicles signing out and remember the motto stays the same that smelling good is a form of good menace Cheers.